This video will explain how the tyre feature works in version 2 of RCS64. First you need to choose which tyre profile you wish to use. Go to the tyre wear screen. Click on the drop down menu on the left of the screen. Choose the tyre profile you wish to use and the settings for that profile will populate the central table. Grip level in RCS affects acceleration of the car. A grip level setting of 0 will give no delay in acceleration. A grip level of 14 will mean that there will be 14 milliseconds of delay when pressing the throttle on the controller before the car will accelerate. Brake delay in RCS affects deceleration. When tyres are 100%, brake delay is 0. As tyres wear, brake delay will increase. If brake delay is set to 400, brake delay will increase to 400 milliseconds when tyres are at 0%. For tyre wear per lap, if tyre wear is set to 2, then tyres will wear by 2% per lap and therefore will last for 50 laps. All three settings, grip level, brake delay and tyre wear, affect car performance with or without the weather feature turned on. However, when just the tyre feature is chosen, only the hard and soft tyres are available and the track stays dry for the duration of the session. This central table can be modified and then saved as a new tyre profile if you wish. However, the default tyre profile should be adequate for most users. After selecting the tyre profile you wish to use, go to the Race Management tab and then open the single event page. The amount of braking that you do affects tyre wear. Choose the number of brake points for your track and enter the value in the brake point box. For every brake use over the brake point value, you will use an, another 1% of your tyres per lap. So if brake points is set to 3 and you brake 4 times on a lap, you will be deducted another 1% of tyre wear for that lap over and above the standard tyre wear. Click on the black box next to tyre wear and the green light will light. If you wish to use weather, do the same to the weather button. Select the length of time that you would like it to take to change tyres. Next you can select the number of each tire, type of tyre that will be available to each driver. You can either set the amount yourself or use the auto set feature. To use the auto set feature make sure that you have entered the race distance or time. Then set the lap time in seconds and the percentage of the race that you would like to use soft tyres. Now click on the start event button. Now click on the start event button. You will see that each driver has hard tyres selected to race on. You can change the type of tyres that you would like to start the race on by pressing the lane change on your controller. For best car performance with the default tyre profiles. Choose hard or soft tyres when the sun is out, Immediate, intermediate tyres when the track is damp and wet tyres when the track is wet. To start the race, all drivers can either press their brake buttons to acknowledge that they are ready or you can press the start button on the screen or return button on your keyboard. Have fun! Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Get the car off the jet.